Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty and the Frizz. My name is Kara. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another one today. Today, I am going to be playing with two of the holiday palettes from Hourglass. So if you want to see the swatches and some looks, well, a look with each palette on my skin tone, keep on watching this video. Let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you want to hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I would love to have you back. All right, let's get started. So I'm excited because this morning I got back from Miami. Tyrone and I went just for the weekend. So it was like Friday night after work we went and then we had Saturday and Sunday and we came back today. It was great, you know, it was quick, but it was a really nice getaway. Our flight was delayed three and a half hours coming back, but all of it's okay. You know, I think that, and I was saying it on my community posts or maybe Instagram, it's sad when you have to like force yourself to leave your house, <laughs> like in order to really relax. Because when I do try to do it here, just because there's so much that needs to be done always and that so many things I'm trying to uh, do and change right now in my house and just in my life, when I am so-called relaxing, which is not often, I, my mind just overthinks and I can't shut it down. So being away for those like two days is like, it forces you to just chill because you can't do all the things that you would do if you're home, if that makes sense. So I definitely would like to incorporate more of that. And you know, if it's not traveling, maybe just taking a walk or taking a break or, or something. And hopefully I will get to the point where I can relax inside the house without my mind just going, going, going. That's a side note. Um, but while I was in Miami, I wore each of these palettes. They arrived Friday right before I left. And I was like, oh, I'm taking these with me. So one day I wore the tiger and one day I wore the elephant and I'll pop pictures up. But, oh, I just love these. I just love these. And there was a Sephora out there but they only had these two. They didn't have the butterfly one. So I feel like the butterfly one's just not as popular because of the powders, but I really, really like the colors of those blushes in the butterfly palette and the highlighter, even though it's a bit icy, but we didn't come here for that. We came to talk about these two babies and I'm really excited. These are expensive, they're $85. I know that a percentage goes to uh, helping animals. The packaging is really different. They did collaborate with an artist to do this packaging and it's really pretty. So let's start off with the Tiger palette. Now on the Hourglass website, did I mention that this is Hourglass? I don't know if I did, but on the Hourglass website, you can customize these palettes. You cannot customize the pans, but you can customize the artwork, but I kept the palettes as is. So let's go ahead and start with the Tiger palette. This is the palette that I believe is for deeper complexions, beautiful packaging on the outside. This is made in Italy and it has a shelf life of 12 months. And this is just so beautiful. So we have a finishing powder in transcendent light, a metallic strobe powder in brilliant glow strobe light. And there's a blush here in burnished glow. We have a metallic strobe powder in divine strobe light metallic strobe powder and copper flash strobe light and then a blush in iridescent rose now right away you know as a finishing powder this shade is not going to work for me but i definitely used it as a bronzer and i loved it let me show you the swatches of all six of these shades so here are the swatches of all six shades again this finishing powder is going to be a bronzer on me these two are highlighters this is a blush. This is another highlighter, which I can use as a blush or a blush topper. And then last but not least, we have another blush. So that is what it looks like. All right, I have my ears on and let's go ahead and demo this. Also, I, I feel like this little color story here seems a bit different um, from Hourglass. This will be my first time participating in their holiday launches. Sometimes I just can't tell them apart. So, and I've only been, you know, looking at the launches for a couple years, but yeah, they look really similar. But this palette, I definitely think is the most unique out of the three palettes. So let's go ahead and get started. On my face right now, I'm wearing the Chanel 
fresh complexion touch and my Dior concealer. And I did put some um, Chantecaille powder on because again, I can't use this finishing powder on me. So we're gonna start off using this shade here as a bronzer. I'm gonna be using my Sydney Grace bronzing brush and going into Transcendent Light. So I'm gonna zoom in. I'm just gonna start it here. You can already see it a little bit there. This is kind of a warm toned. You did great. How much do you, how much more do you have? How did you get so behind? Just asking, not mad. It's because I'm trying to do my spoil. I'm telling you, remember I told you I, I, I'm trying to do my spoil Chris? I, I tried, I did my spoil Chris. Right. And then I did my penmanship. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, now, and Amir had homework too. Okay, well listen. Why don't, what did, what did you do just now? I, I, I see did right this. Between, between. Okay, so let me, let me, turn the page. I have to do the same see it there. thing. Do you think you can get up early enough for us to do the other three words tomorrow? I don't know. No, we need to know. I don't know. I, I need you to know. I don't know. We're getting to the point where it sounds a little rude and I'm trying to be helpful. Because here's the deal. What's gonna happen if you don't finish? Do you get a consequence at school? I don't know. Do you don't know. get recess taken away so you can finish? No. So if it's incomplete, that's gonna go in the grade book like as such. It's like so hard. Even my back is cramped. Oh. Your back might be hurting because of how your not iridescent rose. Let's check it's this shade out. Now, no, Addison's rushing. But you know what, August? You have to worry about what you're doing. Can y'all see? Look at the. I can't. Addison wrote one word on penmanship and then she kept writing uh, like four words. And that's not. And she's rushing, right? Well, it depends. Some people work faster than others no. without rushing. Zero. One confident, com, confident, and covenant, then, confident, and then she just went to the others, and then she was done. That's iridescent rose. Let's. Do y'all want to see the burnished shade? Because I was gonna put that on my eyes, but let's do that. Let's look at the burnished shade. Burnished. What is it called? Burnished. Glow. I haven't used it as a blush. I use it as an eyeshadow. Can I tell you something? May I tell you something? It's so hard. Oh, what I was going to say is I'm curious about how how you knew how much Addison was doing because you know what it's making me you think? Know that are mm -hmm. And you know what it's making me think? Well, I'm, I'm no, not cheating. No, I, I was not going to say that. You, I'll just let me know when I can talk. No, you can talk. I say you can talk. You can talk. It's making me think that you perhaps were more worried about what Addison was doing. No. That, just listen. Just listen to me. Than finishing what you needed to do. Because you know an awful lot. You know that she was rushing. You know that she wrote over at one time. And while you were looking and just seeing what she was doing. No. It's not, I don't do that sometimes. Okay. And, and I still don't get my work done. I okay, but I'm just talking about today. Okay, there's burnished glow. So that's beautiful. Iridescent rose, beautiful. Do you see how you don't always, but you see how this just looks? I don't know. It just looks so nice. I mean, I did put a lot of this on, but I just wanted y'all to see it. But I can't. See, this is a bit might be a bit much for me. Stop talking over me. I'm not. Why are you telling me to stop? I didn't do anything. Yes, you are. You're mad at me, Mom. I'm not mad. And I'm not mad that I homework every day. Okay, so I'm asking you to just go ahead and table it till tomorrow morning. I'll wake you up a little bit early so you can finish and have a fresh start. So there's the first highlighter. Okay, now I'm going to go into the metallic strobe powder in Divine Strobe Light. Yes, this one. So this one to me is a bit 
Uh, I like this one better, I think. Mm -hmm. We can show them in just a second. Matter of fact, you can show them now. August wants to show you something he purchased. I purchased for him. Hey guys. Wait a minute. I got a new Fujitsu that my mom bought me. And look what, look what it can do. Let's show what it looks like first. It looks like this. Okay. Is this from Super? No. And then it can go like that. Ooh. Do you want me? Um, do you want no, no, no. Wait. I guess we're gonna try to steal the show. Okay. So you, I can't. Now what I'm gonna do is the shade I didn't use. So I use this as a blush chopper, but now I'm gonna use it just as a little eyeshadow. Let me take a little bit of the bronzer and then I'm gonna take the copper flash. Okay. Show them, please. See the beat? Wait, can I see the beads? It's gonna be too much for them to see the beads. Can you see the beads? Okay. Okay. I love you. So yeah, just taking a Sigma blending brush and putting some of the bronzer shade into the crease like this is a whole vibe y'all like it really is i just can i can just gonna blend it over and up a little bit and then i'm gonna take the copper flash and we're just gonna put it on the lid as a little shimmer i mean this is to me like a really nice amount of pigment I mean, come on, what else do you need? And last, I'm gonna go into the Divine Strobe Light. And like I said, I do prefer this strobe powder over this one, because this one's a little smoother. They're both smooth, but I just like the color of this one. And like, there's not that little fine glitter, but the fine glitter is, it's fine. Literally and figuratively, it's fine. So we just got a little inner corner highlight here. I guess we weren't giving August enough attention, so he went and called his grandmother at this hour. Oh, now he's getting nice water. I can't. I'm just going to take a little shader brush back into the bronzer underneath the lower lash line. Just give a little color under there. Nothing serious. Mm -hmm. And there's the look. I think like it looks so good. Like this could really be my signature look. I'm wearing the Chanel, what's this, Coco Flash? Let me not lie. Rouge Coco in the shade Adrian, one of my favorite nudes. So it looks like this, but you could go deeper with this. You know what I mean? Cause this just isn't a lot. Like, ah, this, this could be a signature look y'all. It just could be. So yeah, I did wear this look when I went to the beach. I think the only thing was different is I use this blush on the lids because like i said this i have to go light with but it's a beautiful beautiful color and i built it up a whole lot you know for the video this color right here is so gorgeous too i just love it i love it all like i'm about to wash my face and i'm sad i because i'm about to do that i'm not going to put on any um liner or mascara but i'm sure you can see how the liner and the mascara could definitely elevate this look and even make it a nighttime look depending on how you do your liner like if you do a wing or something like that have like lashes or just you know a, a volumizing mascara i just love this tiger palette like it is a one and done for me like i said the finishing powder isn't gonna work but um i'll just use my other finishing powder or i would honestly take the finishing powder from the elephant palette because this one is probably more so made for my skin tone but the colors in the tiger palette like make it top notch so that's what we have for the first palette uh, let me know what you think about this one if you're considering it for VIB, which is right around the corner and then uh, friends and family. So I am going to wash my face and when you see me again, it'll probably be tomorrow and I'm going to do the same type of look and I'm going to use the elephant palette. All right, you guys, it is the next day and I'm getting ready for work quickly as always. So using this elephant palette is going to be perfect uh, in order to do that. Let me show it to you up close. And here's the elephant palette. 
So we have a finishing powder in dim light, finishing powder in soft light, metallic strobe powder in beaming strobe light. We have a bronzer in lustrous bronze light, a blush in iridescent coral, and a blush in radiant rose. I'm gonna show you the swatches. And this palette I think is perfect for my skin tone. Now the dim light I've used before and I don't know if I've used soft light. I can't remember what's in the Hourglass Trio. I'm going to check really quick. Here are the swatches for the Elephant palette. So dim light is the one I want to look at because it is in my trio that I've been using. And you can also see with the blushes, one blush is an iridescent blush and one is like more of a matte. This is the trio I've been using. Look y'all, I've definitely been using this and hitting pan. Dim light is this one. So it is, and it's really hard to see, but there's dim light right here. And these are more like translucent powder, so I don't expect to see them that much. But um, those are the two dim lights. So this one is a, looks a, maybe it's the same one. Maybe it's the same. All right. so. What I have on my face, same thing from yesterday. Um, yeah, same thing. And I just put the Chantecaille powder under my eyes. So let's go ahead and get to it, starting with the bronzer. So I'm gonna go into the bronzer with the Sydney Grace brush. Let's see how this, now I think this bronzer is a new shade. I did put up uh, an overlay if the shade was new. So you can see it right there. But this is light, like this bronzer is definitely not gonna work for everybody. So the tiger one is nice. But see, that means that if you have a deeper complexion and you use that tiger um, powder, the one I used as a finishing powder, that's gonna be a finishing powder. So that means really there is no bronzer in the tiger palette or the butterfly palette. So just think about that. If you wanted something with a bronzer, and you have a more uh, rich skin tone, there, there's not gonna be a bronzer uh, at all. And this bronzer, I mean, this is really light, and some people that are my skin tone like deeper bronzers. So I would go with the Tiger palette, like if you're looking for a, a real bronzer, because this is okay. Like, I mean, this works for me, but as I said, some people really like a bronze, like chisel kind of look. And I don't think this is gonna do it. Actually, it's not, I don't think. It's just not gonna do it. So, I mean, you can see it, the finish is nice, but I think that the the Tiger bronzer really gave me that bronzy look. Oh, and let me tell y'all real quick. If you noticed that the um, last segment with the Tiger palette was a bit choppy, like how I moved right into the highlight and didn't say anything, that's because August was doing too much, like with his underwear one. And I was just like, I looked and I was just like, I can't include this. Now I know y'all seen August in his underwear, but he was doing a lot. And I was just like, I had to cut out quite a bit of footage. So that's that. So there's the bronzer. I mean, you can see it. It definitely adds like color back into my face. And I think it looks nice, but I think it's gonna not work for a wide range of people. Let's go into the blushes. Now what I'm going to do today is I'm going to use, what I'm going to do is use both blushes. I'm going to use this one first and then this one as a topper. So let's go ahead and start with Radiant Rose. So we'll start with the more matte blush. And I'm, I'm saying matte because it's not a clear iridescence, but all of them have like this like ambient, beautiful sheen to them. And I'm using a very fluffy Real Techniques brush which I might switch, we'll see. So there's the shade. Let me get a more dense brush. This is my Baddington brush. <laughs> I love this brush, I've never heard of the brand. But this is really good for building up the blush. So there's Radiant Rose. which is very pretty. And now we're gonna top it with the iridescent coral shade, which is gonna be like a little topper. It's just gonna give us a little more sheen. It kinda has a gold, yeah, it's got like a golden sheen to it. And I don't wanna put too much of this on because I am gonna use the highlighter, but I do see the gold right here, so. 
that's that. And then let's get into the wing wings, which is this one here. And this one has only one highlighter. The Tiger palette has three highlighters, even though I was using, you know, them as two of them as blush topper, one of them as blush toppers. So the, the, the weird thing I think about these palettes is that they don't have the same type of product in each one, like the same amount. Like this one has two finishing powders where the Tiger one has one. And I think the Butterfly may have two or three. And then this is the only one with one bronzer. The other ones don't have a bronzer. The Tiger one had three highlights. Yeah, three. Cause there was that, like when I said it was a blush topper. So I'm not sure about the rhyme or reason um, which is a little odd, but I, I do, you know, I do love this, but it just, it's just strange. I'm gonna just uh, take a little bit up here as a little brow bone highlight. And then I'm gonna go into the bronzer just to give a little eye contour. And then we're just gonna go ahead with the Radiant Rose shade on the eye. Actually, I'm just gonna take my finger like that. I'll put a little more of that highlight on top. I really like that highlight a lot. So, I mean, this is just something super quick. And it's gonna be like nice and cohesive. So it's not like a look look, but like I said, I wore this uh, in Florida and I just, I loved it. I just loved it. A little under the eye here. I mean, and that's pretty much it. I'm wearing Pat McGrath Nude Venus. And oh, what I, oh, I'm dropping stuff. <laughs> I forgot to put the finishing powder on. I'm just going into this BK Beauty powder brush and I'm just going across the two finishing powders, dim light and soft light. And that's just gonna set everything. I'm not gonna do too much with that. But I, I do love how this powder looks on the face. So just so you see it up close, like it looks really nice. I think it looks really natural and really glowy. So yes, I could have did a little bit better with the eye look, but. So that's gonna be today's look. Let me come back with my, uh, my mascara and um, I'll let you know what I think about these palettes. Hey guys. Mm. Oh. Make sure you have pants on this time because. All right, y'all, here is the finished look. I used the Charlotte Tilbury Push Up Mascara and um, I just had a little sample of that and I really, really like it. So I think I'm gonna get a uh, full size at VIB. I love you. All right, you guys, so, um, oh, no liner either. So let's just talk no about these palettes. No, I have one highlighter. Let's just talk about these palettes. Go ahead, August, because that's what was causing trouble yesterday. All right, let's talk about these. If I had to choose one palette, hands down, it would be the Tiger palette. I think this is gonna be a palette that can work for light, medium, and deep skin tones. If you're light or medium, you're gonna have to play with how you're gonna use this. Are you gonna use it on the eyes as well? You can use the shade as a blush topper. This is gonna give the most variety in the palette. I like the Elephant palette too, but this one's my favorite. This one, is gonna just, I think, work for light and medium. I don't even know if this bronzer will work for tan. I do love the finishing powders and I love the highlight and I love the blushes. It's just that I don't love it as much as the Tiger one. The Tiger one just has the most variety and the most uniqueness. I think I've said unique a lot of times um, already. So that's that. And as far as the Butterfly one, I don't have that one, as you know. I really love how those blushes look but then you have the icy highlighter and I've even seen some content creators who have a more uh, fair complexion than myself use the powders and even they have said that those are a bit light for them. Although I do think they may, may be the same shades that are in my ambient trio. But since they've come out with the medium and deeper trio, I think most people are gonna go for those types of shades. So all in all, I would say full price, this one for sure, I love this, but with VIB coming up and the Sephora friends and family, definitely get that 20% off. If you can't wait, I know if you sign up for Hourglass emails, you can get 10% off, I believe. So I would try that out if you can't wait, but the other sales are right around the corner. I think they did a phenomenal job with this one. But the other two, I think they just could have done better. And, and the last thing I wanna say about the Elephant palette is 
They could have given us a pink and then a more coral shade, like the one in the butterfly, just so there's more variety there. These are more along the same lines. They do look different. And I, like I said, one has more of a golden uh, undertone to it, a golden sheen, whereas this one doesn't. But I just love how in the Tiger palette, even though it's not technically a blush, you get, I mean, you get an orange blush, you get that orangey highlight topper, but then you also get, which color is this? You get the iridescent rose right here. I love that. So this one, you're getting the most bang for your buck. I do wish that they included a bronzer in each one, not just in the elephant palette. I just think that would have made sense because if you have the tiger palette and you have a richer uh, skin tone, you're gonna have to bring in your own bronzer. If you have the butterfly palette, you're gonna have to bring in your own bronzer. And truth be told, with the elephant palette for some people, you're gonna have to bring in your own bronzer. So in order for them to be like total face palettes, and I'm not saying that's what they were designed to be, but I, I feel like that would have been a great design. I think they should have organized it a bit better. As far as the performance of the palettes, I think they're great. And I always say, and I've heard other people say, and it's true, the hourglass powders, when you turn the camera off and you are walking around in person, it looks good. It's not cakey, it looks natural, it looks glowy, it looks glowy. I just think these powders just have a way, whatever that ambient technology is, they just have a way of making your skin look really good in person. I'm not sure if it's because of how fine the powders are or whatever that sheen, whatever that ambient is, I think looks good on everybody. So I love the performance of the palette. I just wish there was a little more thought put into which types of products we're gonna be in each palette, if that makes sense. So that is gonna be it for this video. I am gonna get ready to go to work. I do hope that this was helpful if you're trying to make a decision, at least between the elephant and the tiger palette. So let me know, I will have these linked uh, in the description box in case you're interested or wanna uh, look at them again. And don't forget, if you have a Sephora friend or family member, you know there are, are codes. I don't have a Sephora friend or family member, but there are codes floating around. I think that starts on the 30th, and then VIB starts the 27th. So you really don't have long to wait to get the 20% off, which is going to take, what, like at least $16, $17 off of the total price. So... Thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me today uh, for this little review. I hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. So until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice, stay safe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Oh,